And so we're back on our brief excursion here at the Hermitage Museum and Gardens. I'm here with Bella. And uh, we'll see, there's not a whole lot of people. So, beautiful day for a walk. I thought I'd take the princess and uh, stre stretch both of our legs. It's really a beautiful section of uh, Norfolk here. You can all see uh, their step. Kind of marshland section, I guess. So, uh, not quite, you know, fully like a. It's not, you know, it doesn't look like a full-blown uh, river, but it's just a little small section of the Elizabeth River. So it's kind of marsh area here. And obviously there's Bella. She's the star of this channel, as you all know. So, we're gonna upload this on YouTube so her fans can watch it. And there's the Hermitage Museum over there. And we're gonna just uh, slowly work our way towards the museum. Where this uh, trail wraps around the property, so it's a good area to just look around. And let's see what this says here: the West Side Wetlands Restoration. You know, I'll read that. So this was part of, oh, this is the Lafayette River watershed. On, so this is the Lafayette over here. And on the, it connects with, I guess, uh, the Elizabeth River. Okay, keep on going. And this is this side area of the museum. All right. And we're gonna enter into the backyard where And up ahead is the Elizabeth River. There's the princess, the starter of the show. Just walking around. And this is the entrance to the museum. And there you go. The Elizabeth River. There we go and sail heading down this way from downtown. All right, let's get this way, come on. And there's the Hermitage. And we're gonna go towards the garden now. Okay. See it? All right, let's go. Come on. Okay, well, the water's a little shallow today, I guess. You can actually see the bottom. Come on. Come on. She 
she wants to uh, go down, but there's a gate there, so she's not allowed to sniff around, but she all can see. How y'all doing? Bella, let's go. Bella. And then there's the ducks. And we're going to go into the gardens now. Right. Here she is, still sniffing around. There's plenty of dogs that comes up this way and they would just walk and pee. And so sometimes they mark their territory and other dogs would end up sniffing. Um, they would sniff other dog pees. And that's what Be Bella is doing right now. So y'all can see. You can see the bottom there. This water shallow. Perfect time to be sailing. And that's pretty much it. See whatever else we can find. And I guess I gotta also uh, let the princess sniff some more here while I clean up after her. Because not supposed to be doing that. It's close at 5 o'clock, so we have about 30 minutes till we need to turn around and head on out. And to open up this bag, but... All sorts of reason why it doesn't want to open up. Okay. Alright. And we're back on the trail. This is uh, the gardens here at the Hermitage Museum and Garden. So, we'll see what else is over here. All the rose bushes and the shrubberies and flowers are out of season, so you don't see a whole lot of them right now. Uh, but there's still some greenery. And this is actually my favorite spot in this whole garden. It's just such a nice section of the garden. Uh, I think this used to be some sort of a, a tiny section of the garden where it connects at the corner and you can all see that uh, kind of window looking arch. So and Bella was just looking over. Anyway, so now this is the area that is still green and there's little flowers blooming. There. I'm not sure how smoke tree, I guess what they call them. And we're on the other side of the hermitage now. Alright, and this is the Oyster Reef Balls. We're ready. 
pretty cool. There's some ducks on that side in, in the river. And we're going to continue our exploration of the Hermitage Museum. Alright, it's a little muddy here, so we need to be careful. Alright, come on, dog. We're going around. You all can see we're surrounded by the Elizabeth River. And let's walk this way and check out what's over there. Oh, there's a lookout bridge, it seems like. I oh, wonder how far away they can go. And it's a little bench here. So we're gonna try to walk away where those kids are because they might want to try to pet the princess and she's kind of predictable right now because she just woke up. So we'll see. And we're on the lookout bridge. A little tiny bridge here. And we'll see what this sign says. Come on. So this is the Oyster Reef. Where the tidal pool reef and the shoreline reef is. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of animals in the mud right now. Maybe some of the frogs and other animals will come out as the uh, sunset starts to uh, set, set in. So, I mean, it's still a pretty good place to hang out. You all see the trees here. I should have brought my drone, but my drone is currently uh, out of commission because we're still looking for it. I managed to uh, let the wind navigate it into the local zoo here. So we're just walking around and we're facing Come on. We're facing, I guess this is the front section of the Hermitage now, where the parking lot. And there's Pr Princess Bella sniffing some more. And last year they actually had some art exhibit on hanging off of these branches. I guess they took them down, but there used to be like paintings and all sorts of art exhibit hanging off of these branches last year. And we're not going to leave yet. We're going to turn back around, just trying to uh, look for a section where the princess can. Uh, sniff around because I, I don't want her to just uh, stay in one place and sniff the places that she's, she's not supposed to be sm sniffing. But we're going to walk out back this way and let you all see what the princess have un discovered in our adventure walk here at the Hermitage Museum and Gardens in Norfolk, Virginia. So, we'll see what else is going on. Uh, some pretty neat museum. It's one of those places where not a whole lot of people knows about. I'm hoping uh, 
this video would help give it some exposure for uh, our audiences and followers and curious people that are interested in learning about this part of the world. So this is the back section. Actually, this is the front, I'm sorry. We've already passed the back. This is the front section of the Hermitage. But the entrance is just on the side. So we're gonna walk towards that area. So you all can see the arch and the buildings. All right, so check this out. It's a walkway there, and there's this section here. And it's got an entrance in, on this side as well. There's that door. So, and Bell is still exploring. All right. So, this is a perfect spot to take someone to, you know, and just sit over there at the bench and just enjoy the scenery. So, guys and girls, you want to just have a quiet time together and enjoy the view, come on out this way. And what else is there? Okay, it's another spot here, and okay, that's a memorial, and there's a lady here drinking off of a shell. All right, come on. These trees are beautiful. They're like. An all season type of tree. You can come here any day in the year, any season in the year, any weather in the year. And these, uh, these trees are gonna be just fine. They're just gonna be hanging out and enjoying themselves where they've always been. So that's what it looks like. All right. This is a really nice property. I have, I'm so happy every time I come out this way, there's like something to do and discover whenever we come here. So there it says here that we're in the East Garden section of uh, the hermitage. I'm gonna see if you all let me set it there for a few minutes so you can all read what it says. Alright. There's more sitting areas. Alright, so we were just here earlier and now we're heading back. So, that's we're checking these out. Oh, we gotta give homage to the fountain because they're always, always showing around that fountain area. Come on, Bell. Here's the fountain area. Everybody should come and visit this fountain area when you come and check out the Hermitage Museum and Gardens. It's a pretty unique looking garden. So, okay. 
All right, we're on our way back to our car, and we'll keep on exploring on the way out. So, all right. Oh, so this is the Little Bird Memorial. See, it says, Little friends in loving memory of little boy Alexander Armstrong Martin and his many happy days of play here given by his family and friends. So this is to commemorate that little boy as he plays here in this section of the garden. You see all these animals. And even have that little rat. And now Bella is saying hello to all the animals. Anyhow, this is what the Hermitage Museum looks like. Alright, let's see what else can we do here. Wow, this tour is taking almost half an hour to uh, complete but my battery's about to run out. So if we get cut off, I hope you all had a wonderful tour with us. And we're gonna keep running the camera until we run out of juice on our phone. And uh, thank you again for joining me and Bella on our tour here at the Hermitage Museum and gardens in Norfolk, Virginia. So, we're heading towards, oh, these are the bathrooms. They're pretty nifty looking bathrooms, actually. Been inside of them. Clean, pristine, and sanitary looking machines in there. They're very clean. So, all right, let me toss this garbage. And we're gonna have them out. All right, Bella, let's go. So my name again is Al, and this is Bella, the star of our Bella, the passport dog, wanderer, World wonder, actually. She's traveled to various countries already. Um, that was born in Yash, Romania. She's one of the fewer dogs that were born in Yash, actually, that managed to come to the U.S. And they have decided to showcase all of her explorations within various countries so her friends and followers would watch her show so tell your friends about bella the romanian american dog world wanderer on youtube you know it's kind of exciting because we haven't really done a whole lot of filming since the pandemic and, you know, obviously, because everything's pretty much closed or shut down, but luckily some of these museums and, and venue places that really provide value to the public, they're not just, you know, trying to keep themselves open just to keep themselves open. They are, there's actually strong need and value for their services during a pandemic. Because, you know, let's face it, people need to stretch their legs, they need to get out there and do something outdoors. And places like these provide that, you know, fix. People come out, can come up here and just walk around. They don't necessarily have to go, you know, inside the museum and, you know, be in congregated, congregation with, you know, other people. You can just come here and walk around and enjoy yourself. You know, enjoy the scenery, take your dog, your, your 
friend or your loved one or whoever it is that you want to spend quality time with you know and just hang out here um, so it's about closing time here at the Hermitage Museum so we're going to be walking towards the gates now but I hope uh, you guys are enjoying this little trip with us because you know what else can you do on YouTube is just to watch people so anyway I hope you guys are enjoying it oh there's another doggy there that's on his way in and they're gonna be going for a walk so yeah this is uh, what it looks like here so there's the forest tree in the back you know and just kind of enjoy the scenery at this point all right great so we're on our way out come on Nice brisk walk and just, you know, appreciating nature, appreciating time off away from all the crazy things that's going on around this world, away from, you know, things that doesn't really add value to our lives, you know, we, we got to focus in on things that create value and increases you know our potential as people as human beings and and enjoy you know the little things that we typically wouldn't take the time to enjoy you know during the hustle and bustle of you know the ever evolving world so yeah we're here oh there's the art school here at the Hermitage Museum so they also uh, you know showcase arts for the public to enjoy and for their children to appreciate growing up so it's like a museum gardens and an art school all right so we're out of the gates and Bella's ready to take on the next challenge as y'all can see she's sniffing around trying to uncover new stuff to uh, explore but we only have time to explore one place right now uh, we'll maybe add more to our channel later so yeah hope you guys enjoyed our little tour here uh, seems like uh, our battery held out for us up until we get to the car so that's awesome so there wasn't any cut footage that you guys weren't able to see come on Bella. she's definitely one of those wide-eyed wanderers where she has to smell and, and explore and investigate something. She's just got that knack to want to explore all the time. But then again, she's got her own book. It's going to be coming out shortly. It's called Bella, Bella's Passport, where she's going to share, you know, various places that she's been to as uh, essentially immigrant from Romania that came to the US and explored the new world. So that's her claim to fame is that she was born in Romania and that she now is a Romanian American citizen. Uh, she's got dual citizenship obviously. So hope you guys enjoyed our tour and we're gonna be saying sayonara for now thank you for joining us take care and always 
take time to enjoy the view. All right, this is Almina. Take care. Bye-bye.